Hey everyone, happy Thursday, and if you haven't heard yet, Thursday is the new Friday, so we won't be seeing you tomorrow. You have the day off, which is super exciting, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for the weekend. Um, so this picture here is uh, my family's puppy, Sadie, and she is a yellow lamb. But my parents have been gone for the last six days, so I've been taking care of Sadie, and if you've ever had a puppy, you know that they are very high energy, and they need to get up at all hours of the night to go to the bathroom. So, Miss Richards has not gotten a ton of sleep this week, and she has been all hands on deck with our lovely little Sadie, um, but she's so cute, and she's fun, but definitely ready for my parents to get back so we can uh, all work together in raising the new dog. Um, but I just thought I'd show you that picture. We are going to discuss the question of the day from yesterday so that you know exactly how to look up questions on the geohistogram. I don't know about you guys, but in my classroom, we definitely needed a time to figure out how to find those answers. So we are going to go over it together today. Um, so what you should have done, if we look at the question of the day here, you're opening your interactive geohistogram in your online textbook, okay? And I'm gonna just take you there right now. So if you're in your um, social studies Google Classroom, go to Classwork, and then your chapter one digital textbook is in chapter one, why do we study history? Go ahead and choose that PDF and it'll pull it right up for you. Um, no login or anything like that. You just scroll all the way to chapter four. It's the second to last page, 1.9. Here we go, World Geohistogram. And you're choosing that. So section five, actually, I think it says, setting the stage for world history. And that's where we went on Tuesday. All right, so you should have already been there. Now, um, once you're in the geohistogram, I'm going to show you now how this works. So, oh, hello, me again. If we're looking at our question, the first question is what Chinese dynasty held power in East Asia during 1500 CE? Now I gave you guys a hint. Turn on the timeline and labels tab first. So the first thing you do when you're in your geohistogram, I would turn on the timeline and the labels. All right, and that's up there at the top. That way you know exactly what you're looking for. All right, so the first question asks for a Chinese dynasty in East Asia. So I'm going back to my geohistogram, and I'm going to find China, all right, because I know it's about China. So China, there we go. So China pops up, and now I'm confirming, oh, okay, so East Asia, I've got China. Then the second part of the question was 1500 CE. So then I'm looking here. Oh, here's 1500 CE. Go across. And Ming is your answer, all right? So Ming was the answer to number one, all right? Then we go back and question number two. When did iron spread the most, BCE or CE? So I'm going back to my histogram. I've got my timeline and my labels up. And now I'm going to find, oh, iron spread. Nice. So then you'll be able to clearly see iron spread way more in BCE than it did in CE. In CE, there's nothing, just one. So BCE was the correct answer. And then lastly, which continent did the religion Buddhism originate? This one was a little tricky. I potentially should have written country instead of continent. But either way, here we go. So our histogram... We have our timeline and our labels, and let's go and find Buddhism. There it is, so I choose that. All right, so it's only in two different colors, okay, in two different areas. And so we look at the top here, and it's Central and South Asia and East Asia, all right? So your answer was Asia. Okay, because all together it's all of Asia. All right, and the big B stands for um, just more of a presence there than the smaller lowercase letter Bs. All right, so there's less of a presence of Buddhism there, but mostly here. Okay, so the answer was Asia for that one. All right, 
Um, we will continue to ask questions um, concerning the geohistogram this week. And then you guys are going to continue to watch the history of the world in two hours. So, all right. Enjoy the weekend, guys. See you later.